What's up guys? Matt from Ultimate City of Source here. Today I have a review for you on a widget actually for your Mac. It's called iStat Pro. And what this does is here, let me open it up. As you can see, it monitors the temperatures of different things or like how much is being used or whatever. So you can see here on my MacBook Pro, it's got the battery, how fast the fan is spinning, the temperatures, how many, like, how much hard drive is being used or how much is free. So for Mac Pro owners, it will actually show you multiple hard drives or external drives actually if you plug them in. You can see your RAM, how much is free, how much is active. You can see your CPU, how much is being used or your processor. And don't think it just looks like this because this is a very customizable widget. Let's see. You can put Fahrenheit or Celsius or even Kelvin, depending on where you are. You can make it go tall. Let's say, let's go with the fire look. And as you can see, you can even add more stuff that I don't even have, like processes and stuff like that. Or you can have it display like certain hard drives or certain networks only and stuff like that. There's also an iPhone app. As you can see, now it goes tall and it's got the fire look to it. And now you can see how much it's saying use and everything. So this is very cool. Um, I definitely would recommend this widget. Why? Because like every other widget, I believe, this is free. As you can see here, price is free. And I would donate, but I don't have a, a account with any like online donation thing. But honestly, you should download this widget. I'll definitely leave a link in the description for you guys to download this amazing widget. I give props to developers on this one because this is perfect. It lets you do many things. It works actually very well with this SMC, SMC uh, fan control, which as you can see, lets me control my fan. So I can go like this, and you'll hear the fans kick in when I go to cool down. Let me turn that off. So that's very cool. It lets me control the fans. I don't recommend using that all the time though, because that can actually break your fans if you use it too fast all the time. But you can see you can actually make your own profiles kind of or have certain things. So let's say when I'm on battery power, I can have it use a slower speed so it doesn't kill my battery. So that's very good. Those two programs or widgets or whatever go very well with each other. Both are free. Um, SMC fan control, I recommend really only for the laptop users. I tried it on my iMac. doesn't work so well. So you can try it still, but might give you a message chain that's not supported maybe but yeah I think it, it is for sure definitely on the MacBook Pros I've read that on the website but make sure to check these two things out I'll leave a link in the description for both these things the SMC fan control and the widget thing oh one more thing for SMC fan control you have to have a newer MacBook I believe what well, has to be an Intel based one I know and if you don't know if yours is Intel based just go up to the Apple and to about this Mac, and it'll tell you right here, Intel. And if it doesn't say that, then you just can't support it. Because I believe only the Intel-based have what they call SMC fans in them. Um, if not, you can Google that and check that out. But until then, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.